Hello everyone, welcome back to Fight Age channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 20,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Swedish heavyweight Otto Wallen believes that the mental state of two-time British world champion Anthony Joshua will play an important role in their fight, which will take place on December 23rd in Saudi Arabia. Anthony Joshua has lost his self-confidence. You can see the decline. Joshua doesn't look confident. In the beginning, when I sparred with him, he was a guy who destroyed. But now he is afraid to miss a punch. He is aware of his weaknesses and that this limits him. He is still one of the best heavyweights. He has uh, built an amazing career. But the recession has begun. I think it has already reached its limit, well in said. The WBA light heavyweight world champion Dmitry Bivol spoke about the fight of Britain Anthony Joshua against Otto Allen. At some time, Dmitry said that he was very flattered to hear that Joshua called him a great boxer. However, according to Bivol, the fight between Joshua and Wallen will not be as interesting in intensity as the fight between Deontay Wilder and Joseph Parker. I think Anthony Joshua will beat Wallen. Joshua is the clear favorite. It's an interesting fight. But to be honest, it's more interesting for me to see Wilder and Parker fight. I've seen Parker fight before, he is a good fighter, Dmitry Bivol said. Ed Dehern. Anthony is very happy, that's all I'm worried about. If you are happy in the camp, you will perform well. We are happy to copyright, he is happy and we are looking forward to a great fight. Joshua only needs a win, he needs to be aggressive, dominant. Otto Wallen talks a lot, which is actually great for Anthony. Because when you are involved in so many huge fights, you need a boost. When Wallen talks nonsense, I think Anthony wants to rip his head off. Fabio Orly said, Good fight, no illusions. You saw how Wallen went up against Fury, a really good performance. And the victory of Agassiev is also a great performance. He flies high, to be honest. He works well. Even if he lost to Tyson Fury, he earned respect. Judging by the press conference, Anthony is full of confidence. It's always dangerous for a fighter. We saw Joshua, but he disembled Charles Martin very easily. There is a difference, but he is not very comfortable with lefties. So this fight could potentially become a banana peel. But at the same time, he still has a lot of experience. He uses it in camps and works with lefties. And he can show himself. Lee Wood said, I think you'll see Joshua be more determined. I think he knows what he needs to do. In previous fights, he was a little cautious, doubtful, unsure of what he was doing, but I do what I had to do anyway. I know that he will be more determined in this fight. He knows what he needs to do, he will come out and do it. A lot of people say that Joshua now looks like himself in the past, and it will be because of the things he is working on. My prediction is without a shadow of a doubt, Joshua will win by knockout. Liam Smith Otto Allen is a good fighter, but I think Anthony Joshua, if he starts hitting, he is very good against lefties. He has a good right hand. I just think he will be aggressive enough and uh, want to be shy. I think Joshua will win and win well. Like I said, he's very good against lefties. Michael Conlan. It's a tall fight. Whirling doesn't have such a big name and if Joshua loses, a lot of shit will be powered on him. But Wallen is a good fighter. He has a good coach, Joga Mash. It's a tall fight. You've seen how much trouble he's caused the Fury. It's not an easy fight. But ordinary boxing fans and Joshua's constant critics will certainly talk nonsense. Conlon said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. 